Well, grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. During my clinical pastoral education unit, where seminary students do chaplaincy work to learn how to do pastoral care and learn skills about how to be self-differentiated and a variety of other ministry skills, I had a memorable conversation with a particular individual. A gentleman that was coming to the Bible studies that I was leading had some challenging medical problems, including a leg that needed to be in a brace at all times. I was talking about spiritual gifts and how the Holy Spirit gives these gifts to enable us to serve the world. But for this man, with his disability, he challenged me, saying how he can't, say, he can't serve the world because he is incapable, that he is useless. Well, I try to talk about how spiritual gifts include many things way beyond just our physical capacities, and that he is absolutely not useless. But to be honest, the conversation didn't go so well. But even though I did not help this individual feel as encouraged as I wanted him to be, I learned a lesson. His perspective on his disability challenged me to rethink parts of how I articulated and thought about God's call to us in the world and how to broaden the way I talk about it to make sure everyone can be included, regardless of ability and life circumstances. I share this story with you because this is what I was thinking about and remembering while reading about Bartimaeus, the blind beggar we read about in our gospel reading this morning. Bartimaeus expresses incredible courage and faith in Jesus despite his challenging circumstances. What is interesting about this passage is something that scholar Luis Menendez Antunia points out, which is that this story contrasts with the story of the rich man we read two weeks ago. In that story, the rich man walks away grieving because he could not give up the many possessions he had. Bartimaeus' situation is completely different. He is blind, he has no wealth other than his cloak, and he is almost certainly homeless. When Jesus was walking by, Bartimaeus heard who was walking by him and begins to shout to get Jesus' attention. The crowds tried to silence him, but Bartimaeus had the courage to continue calling to Jesus even when the community he was outcasted from continued to harass him. Jesus compassionately calls for Bartimaeus, who throws off his cloak and runs to Jesus. He throws off his cloak. This is incredible. Bartimaeus' cloak is his only possession. It was the only thing that gave him any kind of status. It was the only thing that was keeping him warm at night. It was used to collect the money that people were giving him. And Bartimaeus discarded that cloak without a second thought. The rich man could barely manage to give up anything, but Bartimaeus gave up everything instantly. Mind you, this is before he was even healed. It's not like Jesus did anything for Bartimaeus to help his situation at that point. Bartimaeus demonstrates incredible faith in Jesus that he is the Messiah Jesus is the one he needs in his life. And Bartimaeus' faith is rewarded. For upon asking Jesus to be able to see again, Jesus says, go, your faith has made you well. And Bartimaeus could see again and began following Jesus on his journey to Jerusalem. One of the beautiful and remarkable things about Bartimaeus is his confession about who Jesus is. Bartimaeus specifically calls Jesus the son of David, which Jesus has never been called before in Mark's gospel until now. 
Jesus' lineage in the Gospels is traced back to King David. So the term son of David is a kingly title in addition to a messianic title. Bartimaeus is calling Jesus his king and his Messiah. Bartimaeus has never encountered Jesus before, but through what he has heard, he has come to the same faithful conclusion that Peter did when he named Jesus the Messiah. Bartimaeus, who was literally blind, came to faith without needing to see Jesus. He gave away all his possessions and followed Jesus. He is a great example of being a disciple of Jesus. There's an important piece in this passage that I must address. Jesus restored Bartimaeus' sight and told them that his faith made him well. There is no way getting around that this passage has ableism language in it. If you do not know what ableism is, it is essentially discrimination against disabled people by favoring able-bodied people. Bartimaeus' faith allowed him to see again. So what about a faithful person today who has a disability and isn't healed? Does that mean they aren't faithful enough or that Jesus does not love them? Of course not. Jesus absolutely loves disabled people. For this passage, instead of focusing on Bartimaeus' healing, we should honor his remarkable faith and proclamation of Jesus that drove him to Jesus in the first place. Through Bartimaeus, we see a new perspective that we may not have seen before. In the Gospel of Mark's case, it is this kingship of Jesus. Disabled people offer some amazing theological insights and faithful practices that the church must pay attention to. Disabled people have spiritual gifts and purpose as much as the rest of us just as they are, and the church needs those gifts if it is going to effectively proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world. Bartimaeus demonstrates a radical discipleship that the rich man could never have followed. And perhaps maybe we would even struggle to follow too. The good news in our gospel reading today is twofold. First, it is that Jesus will turn to us when we call his name and that we are invited to listen and dive deeper into different perspectives of how others view Jesus. See, whether it's through our Lutheran lens or our personal faith journey lens, we all have different lenses that affect how we view the world and God. And all of our lenses are necessary, but they are also limited. If we only engage with others who have a similar lens to us, then our view of God will become narrow and limited. Which is why it is good to engage with the great diversity of theology, culture, and perspectives in the greater church. So that we can gain new sights and a deeper understanding of who God is. We won't agree with some lenses, and we don't have to. But the story of Bartimaeus teaches us that our neighbors who are different from us can teach new insights into who God is that we would not normally talk about. So as we go forth this week, I encourage you to talk to someone who is different from you and about how they view God. It could be someone from a different denomination, someone with a disability, someone who is culturally different. Whomever that person is, go and learn from them. As you listen to their proclamation of faith and they listen to yours, together you will grow grow deeper in your understanding of God. And when we do that, when we proclaim our faith together, we can be the best disciples of Christ that we can be. Disciples that can throw off our cloak and go to Jesus 
disciples that will follow Jesus in order to change the world. Disciples that love Jesus, who love each other, and who change the hearts of our neighbor by the great love that we show them. Amen.